how is everyone? I love that. I love that. Um, I just want to give a real quick shout out to the gentleman sitting in the middle back who uh, asked me for a mask. I don't work here, but I was glad to get it for you because, like, rock on with that. So good stuff, boy. I love it. Um, also, if that could get me to get paid here, like, ask away whatever you need. Snacks, drinks, whatever. I'm broke. Okay. Recently, I realized I've spent just about the last year of my life alone in my house with my dog. I only recently realized since then, though, that I could blame that on the pandemic and not on hating every fucking person. I, I, it's totally okay now, so like I'm covered. Uh, I have a dog, and I talk about it because I don't want kids. Uh, she's a three and a half year old, mixed breed, big, black, floppy dog. Her name is Onyx which I was recently informed uh, is also a Pokemon that looks a lot like anal beads. Uh, yeah, look it up. It really, it'll upset you. Uh, you your childhood left and right. But that's not why she's named that. It's because she's black. Uh, she is from West Virginia. I adopted her out when I was living in West Virginia, which does mean, and I have the certificate to prove it, she is West Virginia's most diverse export. I'm telling you, that is it. That's what we got, y'all. Um, but I, wow, lots of people hating the Mountaineers. Oh my God. I, I lived there, but only for like three months and it was for a job. I promise I'll never go back. Please take me back. It was bad. Um, I love her to death. She, since living with me, has prevented me from being murdered even one time. Like not even once. And the staff speak for themselves, you know. Before that, it was kind of dicey. But people, when they see her, she's just this big, black, floppy dog. And they want to know what breed she is. Now, I'm 25 and renting property. So you know I don't know what breed she is. But I want to keep renting property. I can't check. But I remember being in Florida in a pet co with her once. And this, uh, this weird lady and her weird kids. Uh, the kids aren't that weird in the story, but once you hear about mom, you're gonna be like, yeah. They didn't really have a chance. A DOA on the normal seat. Uh, but the little girl goes, that looks like our dog. And the mom goes, oh, it does. What breed is she? And me not knowing how to talk to people, <laughs> black and floppy. <laughs> that wasn't the right answer, by the way, because this woman was shocked, shocked that I didn't know. And she's like, oh, you mean you haven't done a doggy DNA test? And I was like, what? <laughs> she was like, oh, we did one for our dog, Sir Chauncey, or whatever the fuck this lady calls her dog. I don't know. Probably that. Sir Chauncey. And we found out that he is part Labrador, part Bloodhound, and this list goes on for some time, mind you. Like, I think she's making shit up. Part Emu, part Kitchen Sink, part, and finally we get to the end of this list. And she's like, and it only cost me $126. And I was like, ha! Ah! That's not the right answer either, guys, by the way. You can't audibly laugh at people who are irresponsible with money. <laughs> but I, I couldn't do anything. My dog was there. She was blinking at the lady, too. She was helping. She's a good helper. And I, I, I didn't think of it until weeks later, but what I should have said was, wow, that's incredible. Do you know what I have? A black, floppy dog and $126 fucking dollars. Are you kidding me? Like, let's pretend for a moment, if you will, that I have $126 at all, anywhere, that I can spend. I give it to this company, they send me something, I take a sample from my dog, how the hell you do that? And then I send it away, and then a letter comes back. What am I gonna fucking do? Open it up and be like, oh, Beagle? You fucking lied to me. Like, no, like, I'm pretty committed at this point, right? Like, she's my dog, that's it. <laughs> but, you know, some people really wanna know. Um, my dog also, I will tell you this last thing about her, because in case you're wondering, I could talk about her all night, um, because I don't talk to people. That's the whole joke. I don't like people. This is the worst thing I've ever decided to do. I don't know why I'm here. Um, but, uh, she has become pretty good friends with an inmate in Terre Haute facility, like a, a person who is incarcerated through letters, like I tell him about her, he asks about her. And one time I mentioned that I had put a bandana on my dog. You would think this wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm not kidding you guys, the next fucking letter I got said, you better not be dressing up my girl Onyx. 
And I was like, is that a threat? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It's been really fun. <laughs> Keep it going for Amanda Marino. <laughs> Woo! Woo!